Hi, my name is Stephen McGee. I'm the author of this book called Toxic Health. And I'm going to talk about something that Toxic Health talks about. And that is electrical noise on the grounding system and also on the 120 volt sine wave system that is in your house. So uh, right now we have our oscilloscope hooked up to a non-electrified ground probe that is in the garden, which is this connection. And through this plug, we have the ground connection connected to the oscilloscope tip. And this is what we have right now. We're set on one volt per division. And as you can see, we've got a sine wave, a very distorted sine wave on our grounding system. And that's uh, one volt AC or two volts peak to peak. And uh, it really shouldn't be there. You know, this is actually reported as stray voltage in the dairy industry. So right now my house has a stray voltage problem. And uh, I have a number of videos about this particular grounding system problem. And we're not really here today to talk about the grounding system. I'm far more interested in the sine wave and sine wave you're going to find on this connection right here. So I'm going to change the scale that we're on right now and we're going to see what our sine wave is doing. Okay, so there's our sine wave, that's our 60 hertz sine wave. Looks very, very good. I'm going to do a fast Fourier transform analysis on it. And that's going to show us the frequency content of it. I'm going to switch that on right now. So we're on 250 hertz per division. As you can see over this side, we've got some spikes. So I'm going to expand it out a little bit. So right now we're on 50 hertz per division and we can see the fundamental frequency, which is 60 hertz, which is this spike. So that is normal. Now these here are what's known as harmonics, and they really shouldn't be there. They're a characteristic of electronic systems and electronic power generation. So we're going to change scales. We're going to see what else we can find. So as you can see, there's a lot of noise on this waveform and we're currently on 20 megahertz per division, which is a little bit high, so we're going to drop back down. So we're on 1 megahertz per division and we see that there's a lot of electrical noise on the system. And it's actually looking very good tonight because we're on 100 hertz per, div per division right now. And we see that the noise is very, very consistent outside of these harmonics. And uh, that's the way the system should look when you're analyzing it. Uh, there shouldn't really be too many harmonics. These harmonics here are a little bit concerning, but. The rest of the system seems to be okay. One of the problems that we do have though is this constant fluctuating of frequencies of electrical noise. And if that gets too bad, you may actually start getting radio waves coming out of your wiring. And as you can see, it does actually flicker quite a bit. So there you have it. So this particular house is actually, for the sine wave, it's actually pretty good. This electrical noise is somewhat of a concern. You can pick up a small amount of radio waves coming off the wiring in this home, but the radio has to be very close to the wiring to detect it. And uh, when you're doing power quality analysis using a fast Fourier transfer, it's, this kind of thing is what you're looking for. You're looking for a, 
a very small amount of harmonics around the initial 60 Hz harmonic and we turn off the fast Fourier you're looking for a very clean sine wave which is what we have here so this is what your sine wave should look like when you're going into homes so that's what power quality in the home is all about so this is pretty good home I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health thank you